Hello everybody, I am on Jeja Beach in Nusadua, Bali. Is Bali an overrated place? The answer is yes, it is really overrated. Did you know that according to the website Bali Life, human trafficking here in the whole Indonesian country, it has like 80,000 kids involved in uh, human and sex trafficking and it, it is a huge concern in this country but and you can see a little bit of this in in, in bali if you pay attention if you are not too too asleep or too drunk but not everything is bad in bali so i will go over the positive point in bali and then the negative about bali we could make the case that Bali is somewhat a decent destination for a certain type of digital nomad. Good things about Bali. Accommodation, food and transportation is somewhat cheap. You can find a really good accommodation and stay there a long time. Uh, have a good time. You can find a nice place in uh, area like Seminyak, Kanshu, Kuta and Ubud at really a decent place price for a long stay that's really a positive you go at a supermarket you have all sort of food all sort of food that you can uh, you can possibly imagine and that's also great a lot of choice you have a lot of health store it's really well developed so you can have uh, a life like you have in your home country like um, i remember when i was in the philippines I, I i was looking for certain product but i didn't find them in supermarket like uh, almond milk but here you can find just everything like in uh, in, um, in in many west country or other place so that's one of the positive of bali another positive is that it's somewhat easy to get a long stay visa generally you have two options you can get the digital nomad visa and you can take another type of visa called kitas and they are somewhat easy to get so it's easy to be to, to stay long time in bali I, I spoke to a Ghanaian guy, he's been here for six years. I spoke to a South African guy, he's been here for like a couple of months. I find here they've been here for like a decade. So it's easy to stay in Bali. And I recommend as a digital nomad to do long stay, like three months, six months by country. Slow digital nomading. It will be better for your balance to make a meaningful relationship and to balance your budget rather than changing every month new country every month new country it's not so great it maybe you can do it at time this is what i am doing now usually i am based in mexico for that reason i can stay five months six months in mexico and then now i am uh, like i am in bali before i was in portugal and i was in spain uh, next, uh, I may go to Thailand and then I will go back to Mexico. But yes, slow digital nomadism is, is best. And um, Bali is a good option. You have a lot of co-working space here, a lot of place, a lot of nice cafe you can walk. Uh, it's great. It's a great um, place to work as a digital nomad. Internet works really well. You will never have a problem with your internet connection here. To give you an idea of the price, one of my friends, she was a yoga teacher in uh, Ubud and she used to pay like $100 for her rent and it was a small, uh, small casa, small place. Uh, you know, with a week in the back, there was a little place uh, like a big bat, and she could take the uh, bat in uh, outside, and it's really low rent, and and she had a good life there. She was making a nice living as a yoga teacher here. Another good positive of Bali is you have a lot of activity to do, rafting. Uh, 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 um, trekking, um, canoe, kayak, uh, scuba diving, you know, all those holiday type stuff, you can do them, but you will not pay a lot. So if you are a fan of those activities like kite surfing, surfing, whatever, you can, you could do that every day and you will not pay a lot. And that's uh, one of another thing that is great about Bali. Now the local people are somewhat friendly well i can say they are friendly if you take the time to know them 
they, they, they are friendly. You will find some really friendly individual. I had this uh, friend, Indonesian, Indonesian guy. He was uh, uh, working at his own um, tourist uh, tourist uh, tour booking agency, and he was always giving me discount, discount. So I did a lot of uh, touristy stuff at a lower price when I compared to what other people paid for the same thing. It was really generous with me. Um, yeah, you can make a friend here, Indonesian friend, if you make the effort. You can also make the expat friend. However, I have to say the expat community is not so great here. Uh, sadly, Bali attract a lot of uh, gangsta, low vibe type person, men and women, uh, mostly from, um, I, I, won't, I don't want to point the finger, but when I heard the complaint, it's mostly about Australian people. And uh, yeah, I, when I asked my friends, so I have friends that live here for a long time, and they don't seem to be get involved too much in the expat community. They say it's too much, uh, it, it attracts the me, 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 self-centered type. Yeah, it's all about me. Gangster guy, selfish, Instagram obsessed, Australian girl. And it's not so great, the expat community. But you can, uh, you can make some local friend and even among the expat, you will find some that are not like this. It's just a question of, um, uh, like my friend, I have a good friend here and they are not like this. They, they don't have this gangster style mentality. And this is connected to the dating scene, dating life in Bali. Because it attracts those type of gangster guy, selfish woman, dating is not great in Bali. In fact, I can say it's one of the worst places for dating. What uh, smart people do if they want a local girlfriend is they go to Jakarta or some other place and then they make, they make a girlfriend there and then uh, they bring her here. <laughs> but a uh, girl who live in Bali, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's not a great place for dating. I just will say that. So, no, yeah, I talk about uh, all the positive about Bali, but that's one of the negative. And then I will continue with the other negative about Bali. Because Bali attracts a certain type of people, well, it's difficult to make uh, meaningful, meaningful relationship. And I heard many complaints about this. One of my friends, uh, I went with her at a party, and then she saw one of her friends breaking up with her, with her boyfriend and the boyfriend was uh, seducing another woman at front of her, at front of her, of that ex. And my friend told me, yeah, that's the energy of Bali. Nothing lasts, guy, you cannot trust them. They have this gangsta uh, mentality, self-centered, everything is about me. And the woman here, to be honest, the expat woman, they're also like this. They are also really selfish, uh, self-centered, and uh, not really interesting woman. So making meaningful relationship in, in Bali is, can be a bit of a challenge. When I talk to people who live here for a long, long time, they all told me that they experience period of uh, loneliness that come with the territory. You, if you want to have Bali as a base, you have to accept that. My base is Mexico and this problem doesn't exist there. Another negative of Bali is over tourism. Like uh, they build too much, too quickly, 50% of the water goes into the, the tourism uh, infrastructure, so you have a lot of... Uh, like I was in that restaurant and they say, yeah, we have a water shortage, so we the fridge not working, we cannot give you a lettuce and things like this. Like there's really problem with the over tourism here, really a lot of pollution uh, everywhere. Uh, it is it's too much. There is too much tourist in Bali. This is put too much stress, strain on the infrastructure and you can really see it. And I don't want to be part of something like this. To me, it's a kind of a deal breaker for me. Like the, the over tourism, the obvious uh, human trafficking, especially of kids. Uh, that, that's to me it's a deal breaker but for some people like if you have a if you have a gangsta style mentality you don't care about this really finally another negative about Bali 
is um, the traffic congestion. Traffic, especially during the weekend, Bali traffic is uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of um, pollution and a lot of congestion. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. And it's like that uh, in, in most of those places, like Kuta, Seminya, Kanshu, uh, Ubud, the way, the way from uh, Dampasar to Ubud, it's, it's congestion, permanent congestion. And this is, uh, this is annoying, this is, uh, this is crazy. So yeah, that's my opinion of Bali. Now, that's you to judge if you want to have your basis in Bali. Personally, uh, it's okay to visit Bali, but I, I'm not sure I could, I could have Bali as my base. I like the idea of having a visa. I like the idea of having a Kita visa because they're easy to, to have. And uh, that's another uh, another advantage of Bali that I forgot to mention is that if you're based in Bali, you can go really for cheap, like going to Thailand for uh, for less than two hundred dollar, one hundred fifty dollar. You go to Thailand, you go to Philippines, you go to Vietnam. That to me is the is if I to stay in Bali, that's for this reason. Then I will stay in Bali one two months. I will really work, focus on work, doing my workout, health eating good food and then when i have and i want to have fun i will visit uh i already have friend in thailand and philippines i will go to those places this is what i will do if i were based here i will use bali as a place to really focus on my work it's like a bit dubai dubai is is the same style so that's my opinion uh, about uh, bali what is your opinion i am interested to read what you think of this place leave a message in the comments see you soon